Should you book your next trip with cash or points? The answer is actually not as simple as you might think. After all, you might have a cross-country road trip planned and you might want to pay for that rental car with your points. If you have 100,000 outstanding travel points, it could certainly make sense to book that rental car through your credit card's travel portal. And sometimes that is a good decision. In fact, NerdWallet actually recommends spending down your travel points. That actually goes against a lot of other conventional financial advice that everyone, including NerdWallet, gives. In general, saving is always good, but that does not apply to travel rewards. You can't invest any sort of travel rewards. They don't earn interest, so they end up just collecting virtual dust if you don't spend them. In that case, spending those travel rewards is an excellent decision. However, there are some reasons why you might want to book your trip on points versus cash. Let me tell you how to know. For people who are simply optimizing to get that maximal redemption value, then it's really just a simple mathematical equation. NerdWallet has poured over thousands of points and miles to find out what the value of each one is across all of the major hotel and airline loyalty programs. NerdWallet's listed out the points value of all the major programs on its site, and from there you can just do some simple math and multiply the cash rate versus the points rate to find out which is better. In fact, NerdWallet's actually got calculators on its website to do that calculation for you. So for example, in 2023, Spirit Airlines free spirit points are worth 0.8 cents. United Airlines mileage plus miles are worth 1.2 cents and Delta Airlines miles are worth 1.5 cents. Here's some examples for hotels. Hilton Honors points are worth 0.6 cents. Marriott Bonvoys are worth 0.7 cents and World of Hyatt points are worth an incredible 2.8 cents. So let's take that Hyatt example. Let's say you're considering a Hyatt hotel room that costs either $300 a night or 10,000 Hyatt points. With a Hyatt point at 2.8 cents each, you'd have to hand over $280 worth of points, making it a better deal to use points versus cash. Meanwhile, let's say you're booking a room that costs just $200 a night, but also 10,000 Hyatt points. In that case, you'd be better paying in cash. Those are the straight numbers, but sometimes the numbers don't tell the whole story. There can be instances where it's better to pay in cash even if the points rate is better or vice versa. Here are some situations where it's better to pay with cash even if you can get a better rate paying with points. The first is if you're paying on specifically an airline or hotel branded credit card and you're trying to earn a sign up bonus. Typically these branded credit cards will offer bonus points for spending at that specific brand. This can be a really great way to accrue points, but an even better way to accrue points is through that sign-up bonus. Now, sign-up bonuses can be tough to earn. They typically require spending a lot in a short period of time, and it might be more money than you'd typically otherwise spend. But if you've got a big trip up ahead, then it can make sense to use that as an opportunity to actually hit that sign-up bonus. Then you're also earning bonus points to that travel brand, which you can use down the road for more free trips. Now, speaking of spending with a travel branded credit card, you might also look at those special promotions. Sometimes travel brands will have deals, like if you book with cash this month, then you'll earn double points. That might be a good opportunity to pay that cash rate. Assuming that you'll use those points down the road, you're paying with cash now, earning even more points that you can use in the future. Another reason why it might make sense to pay with cash over points is if it's a trip that you can get out of actually paying. So for example, if you can expense the trip to your employer, then you probably don't wanna use your own personal points. If you can pay with cash, then you can actually earn points for that stay to use towards future travel. And if you're self-employed, you have a small business, then it can also make sense to pay for your travels with cash and take advantage of something like a tax write-off. Now, of course, make sure you check with an account or a tax attorney to make sure that this works with your situation, but often you can pay for business travel with your own cash, still earn the points which you can use towards your personal travels down the road. And of course, the final reason why it can make sense to pay with cash is simply if you're saving up for a better redemption. Now, I mentioned that typically NerdWallet doesn't recommend points hoarding or sitting on points, but if you have a specific redemption in mind, then it can make sense to pay with cash 
earn those points so you can make that redemption happen. So I'm talking about something like an amazing 100,000 point hotel room. You might only have 50,000 points right now, which is enough to book a lot of cheap hotel rooms, but it's not gonna get you to that 100,000 point level. If you're saving up for that redemption and you have a plan for how you'll pay for it, then go ahead, earn those points and book that trip down the road. Now let me tell you about some situations where it's better to pay for your trip with points, even if the cash rate is better. The first one is simply if you'll never use those points or miles again. Maybe you used to live near a Delta hub and you always flew Delta and you accrued all these Delta Sky miles, but you've since moved and Delta isn't serving the airport that you live near now. If you've found yourself in an opportunity to fly Delta and you're staying on all these miles, it could make sense to just spend them, even if the cash rate for that airfare is technically better, you don't want to be sitting on all those Delta miles that will otherwise probably go unused. Another reason to pay for your next trip with points over cash is actually that the points rate could shake out to be better in the long run once you account for other costs. So for example, there are often promotions where if you're staying for five nights, you can pay for your trip with four nights worth of points and get that fifth night free, even if the cash rate per night is actually better. Once you factor in something like that fifth night free, it can actually net make the points rate better. Another thing to consider is resort fees. It's fairly common for hotels to waive resort fees for stays paid for on points. Resort fees are those pesky fees charged nightly and they can often run 40 or $50, sometimes even more. Now, even if the cash rate seems better on the surface, once you factor in those resort fees, it can actually make the points rate more valuable. Generally speaking, NerdWallet doesn't recommend sitting on your travel rewards. It's always better to spend down those rewards if you have a trip planned, especially if it means that you can save cash. Cash in your wallet is always more valuable than points sitting in some nebulous online account. I'm Sally French, a travel writer at NerdWallet. You're watching one of our Versus series where we help you make informed decisions about all sorts of aspects of your money. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe.